Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and we're going to do another tricky question for today, and it's going to be a random question. I don't know what it's going to be. Um, it is from the website called Madass Maths, which is fantastic. Check it out. It's got loads of good practice papers on there. Um, in fact, the ones I'm going to be doing today, or at least the question from one of them, are the MP2 practice papers, uh, and they are essentially, they follow the uh, Pearson and Excel syllabus, uh, and um, MP2 is all the stuff which you would get in um, like year two, like pure book two, basically. Okay, uh, give me a random letter from A to Z. Sure, how about the letter M? Okay, M it is, so let's go down. Could you give me a random number between one and 13? Of course. How about the number seven? Lovely. Integration by substitution. Um, okay, I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to go put it in my notebook. Um, and then we will do this question. Uh, incidentally, integration is what I've got a revision session on uh, coming up very soon. So check that out, link in the description. I'm going to be going over everything I know about integration. Okay, that's perfect. Um, right, so what to do here? Now, uh, the first thing I normally do with an integration by substitution is differentiate the substitution to get an expression for uh, dx. Um, now, what I could do is I could differentiate this expression with respect to um, x, um, and that would give me um, a half x to the minus a half. Um, I don't quite like doing that. What I prefer doing is, because I don't like having the square root there, uh, I like to rewrite it. So I write it as t minus 3 is equal to root x. And then I square both sides to get t minus 3 squared is equal to x. And then I differentiate with respect to t. Um, so to differentiate this using the chain rule, um, the 2 comes down to the front, the power comes down, the bracket stays the same, we drop the power down by 1, and then we times by the derivative of the bracket, which happens to be 1, so we don't need to, uh, to do that. Um, and then that gives me dx by dt, because we're differentiating with respect to t. And then I could just multiply... Uh, both sides by dt, and we get an expression for dx, which I think is just slightly cleaner than using the um, differentiating the root x part. Okay, so that is good because that is going to go in there. Um, now we need to also substitute in uh, for x, but that's good, we've got that expression already. Um, so what we need now is we need uh, the expression for x to the 3 over 2. Um, so looking at this at 1, this is uh, t minus 3 is equal to x to the half, because the square root is the same as the power of a half. And then if we cube both sides, this gives us x to the power of 3 over 2, uh, which is perfect because that's the green part we want to sub in. Okay, we're getting there. Um, but we also need to sub in um, the limits, 36 and 1. They need to be swapped out as well. So we will write 36 is x, um, and we need to find t, don't we? Yes. So let's just write t is equal to 3 plus the square root of... 36 is x, and this gives us 3 plus 6, which is 9. And then the other t value will be 3 plus the square root of 1, which is just 4. Okay, great. So we've got our new t values. Um, uh, so I think that's it. So I think what we could do is we could call this the integral that we're trying to uh, um, transform. And the new limits are 9 and 4. 
we have 1 divided by uh, the square root of oops, um, the green bit, which is uh, t minus 3 cubed, plus 3 lots of the blue bit, which is t minus 3 squared. Um, and then we've got dx, which is the yellow bit, uh, which is 2 lots of t minus 3 dt. Okay, right, so not obvious how to integrate this just yet. Um, so perhaps we can use um, some sort of factorization method here uh, to help us out. So we can rewrite this as uh, 9 and 4, uh, 1 over, again, the square root of. And we can see down the bottom here, these two, two, these two terms, this and this, they both have a factor of t minus 3 squared. So we can write t minus 3 squared. And then um, the first term needs to be multiplied by another t minus 3 to get t minus 3 cubed. And the next term needs to be multiplied just by um, 3. Uh, so we get this. And then we're going to be multiplying 3 by this. So we can write that on the top of the fraction. Uh, so that's 2 lots of t minus 3, and then uh, times by dt. Okay, uh, I'm thinking this is getting more promising, um, because when we have a, um, a square root like this, uh, we've got things underneath it which are multiplied together, um, we can split up the square root, because we know that the, uh, the square root of ab is equal to the square root of a times the square root of b. So we can rewrite this as um, the square root of t minus 3 squared times by the square root of the second bracket. So this, this was the first bit here. And then the second bit, this bit here, is going to be, um, that's just t minus 3 plus 3. So that's just t, uh, like so. Okay, um, let's just scroll down to get some more space. Um, and now we can, um, well, this, this yellow bit here is the square root of a square. So the square root and the square will cancel. So on the bottom there, we just have t minus 3. And then we have uh, root t. And that's over t, 2, t minus 3 dt. Uh, I want a B's question. Okay, this is good because it means that this can cancel with that because both the top and the bottom are multiplied through by t minus 3. So that can cancel. So <clears throat> we have 2 over um, the square root of t dt. Now I can rewrite that just using powers. So this will be two lots of t, and it's the square root, and it's on the denominator. So the square root means a half, and being on the denominator means a negative. Uh, so it's like this. <clears throat> okay, and then we can uh, actually integrate this now, finally. Uh, and we just use a general integration rule. So up the power by 1, uh, divide by the new power. And dividing by a half is the same as timesing by 2. So it becomes 4, uh, 36 and 4. Um, and then subbing in the, the limits. So when I sub in uh, 36, uh, I'll get uh, 4 times by uh, the square root of 36. And then minus when I sub in uh, 4, I'll get 4 times, again, the square root of 4. Because, again, t to the power of half is the square root of. Um, so that's 6 times 4 is 24, minus uh, 4 times 2 is 8, so final answer of 16. Cracking question that. Check out my live session on integration, link in the description, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.